guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing a lip swatch video for you guys I'm gonna be trying the new 3c lip cloud lip tints I bought the bundle that brings all of the shades for this launch so that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today that's why I have no lipstick on right now so let's just go ahead and check out this beautiful lipsticks so yeah let's go so here we go here is the bundle that they launched a few days after they uh, launched the shades individually this is like i said the 3ce cloud lip tints uh let's see what it says here in the back this is the 3c cloud lip tints 12 matte shades in a bundle that's their new product um so i got this bundle for 140 something dollars i don't remember i'll put that somewhere in the screen later uh and the point is that if you purchase all 12 shades individually it was like 180 dollars so you pretty much what you were saving like 40 dollars when buying the bundle so yes it was a deal yes i did the math before the bundle came out i had all 12 shades in the cart and i was like god jesus help me so good thing i waited when they announced they were gonna bring the bundle and that's why i purchased and yes i feel better about it uh i bought it directly in the free ce website um they added like 40 dollars of shipping so i ended up paying 180 something dollars anyways nonetheless uh i guess it would have been 200 and something if I just bought them individually. You make your own decisions. I'm just letting you know, you know, the prices and what it retailed for. So yeah, I'm happy the 3 C lip tints are usually like my favorite lip like products ever. Like formulas. I love it. I just love their shades and all that stuff. So yeah, let's just open this by boy up. This is not a first impressions. I've already opened this. If you've watched like other videos of mine, I'll, I've already used some of them and swatched some of them. So just doing this video is not really a first impression. I know I already love them. But here it is, all 12 shades. I'm gonna try and like start like applying from the lightest shade to the darkest ones. But I'm pretty sure like halfway through things are gonna start staining and whatnot, but yeah. Here's what they look like. It's beautiful. Um, the let's see what we have here. The shade colors we have hashtag needful, starting from this side in words. It's hashtag needful, hashtag carrot pink, hashtag live a little. Um, then we got beige avenue, peach teas, macaron red, and then continuing on this side, we have active lady. Eminence, yeah, Fairy K, right here, Pinklicious, Blossom Day, and the last one is Cutesicle. So I think I'm gonna start with Cutesicle and kind of try to figure this out. But yeah, Cutesicle looks like the and Beige Avenue. I know for a fact are like the lightest colors. So I'm just gonna like start off from there and we'll see where it goes okay so i got my handy dandy little hand mirror here from 3c ink it's only you know it only makes sense and i have the shade cutesicle let's put this bad boy on and see oh this is what the doe foot applicator looks like pretty standard if you ask me so yeah I'm really not gonna get like super intricate with the way I'm applying them. I'm applying them like I usually do, which is apply the center, tap my lips, and this is usually what I do. Um, you get the gist of it, really. So here is shade Cutesicle. It's lovely. I'm gonna say all of them are lovely. I already know I love them all. But yeah, as for the feeling, I was really surprised that from my experience, and I do have the other lip tints they had before, like velvet ones, I could actually say, tell this were like somehow creamier, softer, more like light feeling. It really feels like there's nothing on your lips, but when you're actually feeling the product, it was just like silky. Like the other ones were all like velvety, but this one's felt like silk, just like they slip onto your skin. It was, it was different. 
So it kind of makes sense when they call it like cloud lip tints. So just know that it's like a very nice feeling on your lips. So yeah. So on to the next shade. <laughs> this would be the shade Beige Avenue. This is what they look like up close. They have more fingerprints, but yeah. Yeah, me trying to do the lightest shade and then the darkest one. Um, something interesting about the lip colors we found out is that the color of like the actual packaging, the color of the actual packaging of the product does not actually um, portray the color inside. This one is pretty similar, but others are like pretty off. So mm, just know that. This is the color Peach Teas, hashtag Peach Teas. This is kind of like a brighter version of the one I tried before. I love, I just love how they lay down on your lips like it looks like you dusted color on your lips. It's it's like a delicate finish, if you ask me. I'm like, I can't get enough of them. They're like my favorite, my new faves. Like I swatched a few in my hands um, when I first got them and I actually opened them. During an Instagram live, so I know they stain the lips. I'm just like not keeping them on long enough for them to stain right now, I think, but they do stain. I'll go with All Awesome Day. So I'm not really following any specific order. I'm just trying them as I feel like it. This is more like a hot pink kind of color. If you're paying attention to what 3CE is doing right now, you know they're coming out with, or already came out by the time this is like uploaded, with a new um, shadow palette. And I feel like they had colors here that went along with that shadow palette and with the usual kind of like fall mood collection. Next shade, I'm going to go with um, Carrot Pink. Actually, no, let's go with Needful for some reason. This is shade Needful. So next shade I'm going to try on is Carrot Pink. This is this shade right here. Almost feels like a mauve shade, but I see it looks kind of like bright on the monitor. I feel like this shade is almost a shade that connects like the pink from like the orangey side. Okay, so next shade. These ones are starting to look like really dark and like very vibrant. I think it's time to go with Active Lady. Active Lady right here. This is way lighter than ones I've already tried. So guys, next shade, I'm gonna be trying, I'm gonna go with Pinkalicious which looks really bright, but I can't really know what to expect inside. Okay, here we go. As you can see, pigment is not an issue with this lip tints and I love them. Four to go, we're like down to the last four, so we've tried eight shades, right? Yeah. So I think fairy, fairy cake might be lighter than others, 
This is fairy cake, yeah. Fairy cake. Wow, I love this color. Wow. This is like, I think, the lipstick that goes perfect with their new eyeshadow palette. I think it's called Dry Bouquet or something like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go with Red Macaron, which I know is like really vibrant, very live red. It's this one. This one is pretty much like faithful to packaging. So here we go with Macaron Red. Wow. 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 I, re I used this, but I mixed it with another color, but it's my first time putting this on just like all by itself. And wow, it's beautiful. It's a perfect red. It's so sexy. Oh my God. Okay, I think I did a pretty good job at concealing that macaron red shade. Now let's go ahead and try live a little. And after this, we have one more to go and we're done. So here we go, hashtag live a little. The applicator makes it so easy to be precise because it has like the really sharp end. It really helps it get that perfect like bow right there, Cupid's bow. And this is the shade. This is hashtag live a little. So here we go, grand finale guys. <laughs> Last but not least, we're gonna try on shade Hashtag imminence. Okay, it's the one I could barely read at first. Wow. Ah, holy smokes. Wow, this color is so special. I feel like it's like when the fall leaves are like from red turning into a, like their darkest shade just before they fall off but at the same time it's like a plum color yet yeah, it, it's like a plum color with like a brown undertone this color is kind of like everything it's like moody it's vampiric which i love oh, it's so nice and it somehow feels like yeah it's a cool tone yeah I'm not a fan of cool tones, but when 3Z is the one doing them, I love it. I love it. Guys, that is that. Those were the 12 lip swatches from like the 3Z Eat Clout Lip Tints uh, little bundle case I got. I hope you enjoyed the colors. Honestly, I love all the shades. Um, Comparing them to like the old velvet lip tints, I would say that the cloud lip tints somehow managed to be uh, like creamier feeling, more lightweight, which is really cool. The shades are different they are lovely i feel like i there's some shades in there that i've never seen before like this last one which was hashtag imminence that it was like a brand undertone plum color that's still cool and i just thought they were amazing i'm most definitely gonna be using them i practically use them on all of the looks i've done for like the kind of like fall autumn inspired makeup looks that I've uploaded already. Um, so I'm just like loving them. Uh, the bundle was 140 something. I already guys told you the price point. Do I regret making this purchase? Not ever, not at all. I love this, the 3C lip tint so much that I've like 
when I ran out of some of the velvet ones, I repurchased them because they really are like my favorite lip products. So just take that with you. You reach your own conclusions. Do I suggest that you get them? Yeah, they're like some of my favorite products. So I totally advise anyone to like get whatever shades they like best if they want or if you're like me and you want to go crazy get the bundle so yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video leave a comment leave a like remember to subscribe for more content and i'll see you on the next one guys thanks for watching bye